Earth's closest celestial neighbor is featured in this photograph. What is this famous celestial body called? It's the moon. People have been looking at the moon and wondering about it for thousands and thousands of years. And they have invented all kinds of stories about it. Some ancient myths explain that the moon was the sun's sister. Other people said the moon was a giant face looking down on Earth. Some children's stories even said that the moon was made of cheese. In fact, the moon is basically just a big, cold, dark rock. You heard it right. Although the moon sometimes appears to be shiny and bright in the night sky, the moon does not produce any light of its own. It is not a star like the sun, but just a rock. The light you see when you look at the moon is actually light from the sun reflecting off it. While Earth orbits or revolves around the sun, the moon orbits or revolves around Earth. Do you remember how long it takes for Earth to orbit or go all the way around the sun? It takes about 365 days or one year. Can you guess how long it takes for the moon to orbit Earth? Well, it takes a little more than 27 days or about a month for the moon to make a complete trip around the Earth. But the moon also rotates on its axis as it orbits Earth. In fact, the moon rotates exactly once as it orbits Earth exactly once. This remarkable feature keeps the same side of the moon always facing Earth. That means we never see the back of the moon when we look up in the sky. The appearance of the moon changes depending on where it is in its orbit. Follow the arrows in this diagram and you will see that the moon orbits Earth in a counterclockwise motion. The sun is over on the right-hand side of this diagram. This image gives you a better idea of what the moon really looks like during each of its phases. During the first half of its orbit, the moon is said to be waxing, meaning that over the course of several nights, more and more of it becomes visible from Earth. Then, halfway through its cycle, the full moon appears, meaning that the side facing the Earth is also facing the light of the sun. As the moon co completes the last half of its orbit, less and less of it is visible each night. During this time, we say that the moon is waning. Less of the moon is seen. By the time it completes its cycle, it appears as little more than a shiny sliver of light in the sky. On other nights, it looks like there is no moon at all. Remember how the moon does not make any light of its own? Well, sometimes the moon is between the sun and the earth, and the side of the moon facing the earth does not reflect any sunlight. When this happens, the side of the moon facing the Earth is dark, and it looks like there is no moon in the sky. This is called a new moon. The moon never looks exactly the same from one night to the next. The moon does not change its shape. It is always a big round rock. Instead, it only appears to change shape depending on how sunlight hits the moon during its orbit. On certain nights, 
you can see only a sliver or small piece of the moon. This is called a crescent moon. On other nights, it looks like someone sliced the moon in half. This is called a half moon. Remember, the moon only looks like it is changing shape. It is always a big, round rock, but it can look different during its orbit depending on how the light reflects off it. Halfway through its cycle, the moon looks like this. This is called a full moon because the full round moon is shining brightly in the night sky. Because it takes only 27 days for the moon to complete its orbit around Earth, and most months in the calendar have about 30 days, it is possible for a full moon to appear twice in the course of one calendar month every once in a while. When this happens, it is called a blue moon. But this is rare. It only happens every few years. So, if you hear someone say that something only happens once in a blue moon, they mean it does not happen very often. Some people say they see what looks like a man's face when they look up at the full moon. That is why sometimes people talk about the man in the moon, as though there really were a face on the moon. Can you see what appears to be two eyes, a nose, and a mouth on this moon? Of course, in reality, there is no face on the moon. It's just a big, round rock. People sometimes see what looks like a man's face in the moon because of dark areas on the moon's surface. These dark areas are places where, a long time ago, lava from inside the moon poured out onto the moon's surface. These areas no longer have lava in them, but the holes left behind reflect sunlight differently than the rest of the moon's surface. So, when you look up at a full moon, you can see some of the deep and dark holes across the moon's surface. When you take a close-up look, you can see that the moon's surface is also covered with hundreds and thousands of craters. To understand why these craters are there, you need to know a few more facts about the moon. Unlike Earth, the moon has no atmosphere. There is not a protective bubble of air around the moon, nor does the moon have any water, soil, plants, or any other signs of life whatsoever. Without an atmosphere, the moon has nothing to protect it from all the rocks and debris that zoom through outer space. These strike Earth all the time, but when they hit the atmosphere, most of them burn up in a streak of light known as a meteor. Rocks and debris, however, do not burn up when they hit the moon. They just crash right into the moon's surface and leave what are known as impact craters. In a later read aloud, you will learn the amazing true story about real men on the moon. Not just lava lakes that look like a man's face, but actual men who traveled to the moon and walked around on it. How do you think they got there? Well, keep listening over the next couple of lessons and you will learn the answers.